to Ralph's house. Good morning on this bright and sunny Thursday. Yes, if you hadn't guessed, I'm at Tool Station again. Gosh, I love Tool Station. Prices are always good. They've got most things in stock. Occasionally they have to be ordered in or posted to you. But anyway, uh, I've got the flex. Those were for those pendant lights in the front bedroom. Remember, I've got to extend them. They're quite close to the wall and above the bed. You know those ones? Uh, I've got two pen light fittings, just need to extend the cable for that. Proper decent corking tool, under six quid. And uh, I thought that might help when I come to fill that, you know, that... We won't talk about the hole that I drilled in the ceiling, but anyway, I've got to try and get that smooth again afterwards so you can't see it. So I need something decent to do that. It's about ten inch wide, that, that should do it. Uh, a load more junction boxes. Uh, because the way I'm doing the lights, this is the only really practical way of doing it. It's a bit tedious to do it, but it makes it simpler for me. And, um, yeah, expanding foam. Because I've got a huge gap down one side of the stairs. It's just, you know, normal plaster shift. And it's never been done properly. People have tried to bodge it and put filler in it. It never works. So, expanding foam. Then you cut across the top and fill over it. So, yes... We've got stuff to do. Now, I had planned today to wire those down lighters in the front bedroom, if you remember. Uh, it's going to be just as hot. In fact, it's already hot now. And unless I'd gone out at 6 o'clock in the morning, which wouldn't have been great for my neighbours, I'm going to leave that till Friday, because Friday it's going to be wet and breezy, which means the loft is going to be a downside cooler to work in. I'm going to be in it all day, so... It's got to be bearable. So, but I have got another job to do today, which is sort out that light switch in the box room. And I've got a couple of plans for that, uh, as we'll see when we get back to the house. This is the back box in the box room. And there's nothing to fix the back box to for the light switch. So while I didn't mind, I was going to put a chunky bit of wood in there stuck to the bottom and stuck to the side because there's a nut right in there let that go off for a day and that should give me a fixing uh for the back box right let's give that a go well that's about the best i can do with that no nails is pretty strong stuff anyway i've got a load on there a load up the side and then all i have to do is just drill a fixing for the back box and that should fit in there nicely cable coming through the top obviously yep so that looks fairly straightforward. Give that a day to dry. Slowly skimming across that now. Uh, it'll just need a very fine skim and that should uh, disappear then. So all is not lost. Uh, but what I can do is look at these. Uh, they were pendant lights, but what I've done, I've extended them with the cable that I've got from Tool Station. And uh, we shall get those hung up there. I think I'll get that job done first. And then they're kind of out of the way, aren't they, really? So, got to strip these wires first. Interesting, the, the lath from that way, so. Seems sensible to put the screws in this way. Yep, so all I've got to do now is strip that back. Let's get these connected into here. And although uh, you don't need the earth because it's plastic fitting, I shall still put it in there with a bit of air, earth sleeving just to, uh, just to tidy it up. Yep. There you go, nice and tidy. Mm. I must admit, I don't like the way these pendants are held like that. What I'll do is I'll put a 
what do you call it, a cable tie around that, pull it tight. But, uh, I shall nip down and get those once I've got these two up. But, yeah, I'm giving time, this will straighten out the longer it hangs. And I'd say that's about the right height. Right, let's get that one a bit different because I've got two light, lots of wires for that one. That's all right. Yeah, that'll do. Just need a couple of lamp shades for them there. I could go up to, I could just about go up to eight inch, but six or seven inch wide. I don't know what they're called, drum lamp shades, but I'm open to ideas, whatever will go. <laughs> now I need to get power to this lot. And also get power. I need to get these cables through here first. So uh, what I'm going to have to do is turn off the power to the upstairs lights. This is my kit for the loft. Electrical screwdriver, similar screwdriver. Earth sleeving or CPC sleeving, as they call it. As you know, in that twin and earth, the copper wires. Uh, well, the earth wires bare. It's bare copper, so. You have to sleeve it, a pair of heavy duty cutters, a pair of wire strippers, three junction boxes, I think that'll be enough for what we want today, and uh, me light of course. So, right, hopefully it's a bit cooler today, the sun doesn't seem to be out, it's a little, little overcast, which is what we want, nice and cool up there. So, I imagine I'll be sitting up there for about an hour. So, so far, the lighting loom has come out of the back bedroom. The bathroom is permanently live because the fan's got to be wired in there. But the one then comes around, it supplies all the lights in that room. So I've now got to tap into that to bring that power across to this room and wire this up. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely cooler up here. Right. It's uh, so where and when to run, where to run these junction boxes. I think by and large, They'll end up around here somewhere, and I can cut out all these old single, single core wires from the old wiring system. Get rid of them while I'm at it. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Been fighting with the loft insulation. You see that daylight? That's the down light on the left-hand side over the bay window. That's what that is. I've already dropped a cable in the other one, which is over there somewhere, and that one. So that one's here, so the other one's going to be here somewhere. Drop that one in, and then I can connect up the um, junction box and the switch. You've got, that would be the tail end of those. I decided to put it that end. Looped out, looped in, cut, looped out, looped in, cut, looped out, cut. And then the last bit of wire is just going on to the reel because I'm going to terminate the um, junction box and add in the switch which if you remember rightly that was it we're going to connect that in as well which would be cool if we can get all these four spots to go go in today i'm sure we can but at the moment um i'm a bit hot open the window i'm going to chill out for about 10 minutes with a cup of tea just come back to this uh, back box in the uh, box room because uh, that block of wood went off solid managed to screw that to it and I'm going to use some expanding foam to fill quite a lot of that and then just finish up with plaster stinks um, and then we'll uh, plaster that yeah that'll be good I'm just joining into the existing um, lighting loom this is where I finished last time so I've had to put the live out which I'll run down to well, more or less where the hatch is down there and I'll put another junction box on that end right well that should be which one will that be Oh yeah, that'll be the pendant lights in the front bedroom. 
So in theory, I should be able to put the power on and uh, and test those. Yeah, I'll do that in there. Power on. Got that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Not much in bulbs, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, that's going to look fab. Well, particularly for match the bulbs. Definitely doesn't want that bright one. I think more likely that one. Yeah, so it's just these now. I've just rung my son to say I'm going to be a bit later today because I'm going to try and get all this wiring done today so it's out of the way. That polyfill is almost gone off now, so well, it has pretty well gone off. So in the morning, I'll run a very thin coat over that and then I'll be able to sand that smooth, paint it, and it'll vanish. But let's get these. Uh, Let's get these down lights done. It's a bit of a cram in the junction box up there, but I'd still rather do it that way because it just makes it so much easier to wire up down here. All right, back up in the loft. Well, that's gone off. Yeah, uh, so I'm just cutting that away in between jobs. Just stretch my legs really, <laughs> going in that loft. I'll, uh, just a case of cutting it off. Big difference when it's cut back. But the main thing is that fills that big void, otherwise I'd be pushing plaster in and never getting anywhere with it. So I'll just plaster that bonding plaster on. And I go off and I'll be able to just put the final filler on that tomorrow. Box is solid. Hooray. Didn't think I was ever going to sort that. Made all the junction box connections up there. So in theory, uh, pass off again obviously. Uh, should be able to just connect these down lights, push them up, turn the power on and they should work. So let's have a go, let's get these connected up. And you still keep, still keeping it tidy. Keep me make sure you've got your earth sleeve over that bare copper wire and everything's snug and that the cables grip properly. I'll just put the cover on that and then we'll push that home. Right, it's getting uh, a bit late in the day now. <clears throat> I really want to go home and get some food. Got that one up flush. That one I've got a wriggle about on the top, it will go in. Uh, it'll be the last tend to snag on the springs. And that one. Look, we've got the power back on. So we've got those two. And yes, those lights are the right height. They're exactly the same. It's just that one's white and that one's well an off-white and it makes it look higher. It's not. Um it's actually a smaller bulb. And turn that off. They are really cool, they give a very nice light in here. I mean it's uh, during the day but uh, yeah. Much better. So and they are even when yes when you stand in the well, I did pretty well really. Yeah, so tomorrow uh, I'll come back, seat those properly. The lights may flicker a bit because they are LED. Uh, but I'll seat those properly and then we'll have a, a good clear up in here tomorrow uh, because I've got to do the next floor down. Down lights down there. So that's it from Lyle's house today. Thumbs up. Look at my state of my hands. Look. That's a loss for you. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. Oh, and uh, thank you to Steve on his tractor. First thing. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.